She was the star witness of a fraud trial that brought down state Senator Carlos Uresti and two of his former business partners. Denise Cantu lost two of her children in a car wreck eight years ago. She received a large money settlement, invested that money in Four Winds Logistics, and that turned out to be a Ponzi scheme. Today, a third person learned his fate for their role in that company that scammed thousands of dollars from investors, including Contu. Stan Bates will spend the next 15 years in prison. Dylan Collier talked to Contu right after that punishment was handed down. The sentencing was above and beyond, you know. I'm, I'm very, very appreciative for the justice system, and he got what he deserved. Is 15 years long enough? Mm, no, but it's good enough. <laughs> it's Denise Cantu testified today in federal court against Stan Bates, the man who ran failed frac sand company Four Winds Logistics. Bates, former state senator Carlos Uresti, and Gary Kane built investors, including Cantu, out of several million dollars combined. Cantu said she kept eye contact with Bates to send a message. I wanted him to know the pain that he put me through, me and my, my family and my children, and for me to look him in the eye so that he can know exactly how I felt, and I want him to feel it too. This was the third punishment handed down in the Ponzi scheme. Bates will spend the next 15 years in prison. Bates, like Uresti and Kane, will have to pay over $6.3 million in restitution. In February, Uresti and Kane were found guilty. Uresti was later sentenced to 12 years in prison. Kane was sentenced to five. Stanley, you want to say anything? Bates had nothing to say as he was walked out of the courthouse by U.S. Marshals this afternoon. Cantu talked about what she's been through the past four years. What is the constant struggle? Can you take us through that? I'm leaving my children, having to come up here to testify. I mean, it's been, like, what, four years of, of just going through this sleepless nights. And now Cantu faces legal problems of her own. She was arrested in Cameron County back in November for aggravated assault and assault with a deadly weapon. She says she was found not guilty on one of those counts and is on probation for another.